Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Those of you that follow my channel know that in the past I've done videos on Clean My Mac X, or if you prefer, Clean My Mac 10. I've also done videos on Clean My PC. Recently, they've released an update to Clean My Mac, and I thought in this video I'll talk about some of the new features and for those of you that aren't familiar with Clean My Mac, I'm going to show you a couple things that I like to do with the software. Now, first of all, they changed it cosmetically a little bit, but the big change for this version of the application is they added support for M1 processors. So if you've recently purchased a MacBook with an M1 processor, it is directly supported by Clean My Mac. They've also improved the malware scanning, so that works a lot faster now. Now, they've added some other under the hood improvements as well, but I just wanna show you some of the features over here on the left and the ones I prefer or I like to use. Uh, first of all, smart scan, I do that all the time. With a smart scan, it examines your system. It looks for any system junk, um, mail attachments that are no longer needed. If your trash pin's full and you forgot to empty it, it will look for that too. It also scans for malware, it will help you remove the malware. It looks for any privacy concerns and it will help you lock those up or take care of those. Um, and it will optimize your computer for speed as well. It also has some other applications built into the application more or less. Right here, it has an uninstaller. I use this all the time. Um, I mean, usually if you have an app on your computer and you wanna delete it, you'll just drag it over to the trash bin. Well, what will happen when you do that is you will often orphan a lot of files because not only is the app on your computer, but a lot of supporting files are on your computer as well. And if you just draw the or drag the app to the trash bin, you're leaving all those other files. And of course, they take up disk space and they may cause an issue down the line. Now, I'm going to show you just exactly what I mean. For example, uh, down here I have On One Photo Raw. I have the latest version, On One Photo Raw 2021, but I have the previous version as well, On One Photo Raw 2020. I'm never going to use On One Photo Raw 2020 anymore because I have the new version. So what I could do is I could check this. And if I go over on the far right and I roll open this little triangle here, you could see that not only will it, all ins it will uninstall the app itself, it also remove any binary files, preference files, and supporting files as well. And you could even show those individually here, what the actual binary file is, the app file is, and so on. So you can see how it will get rid of everything for you. And then uh, you do have the choice. If you go to this dropdown, you could reset it too. So if you have an application that isn't running properly, you could try resetting it and see if that helps. So I'm going to just uninstall this because as I mentioned, I don't use it anymore. And it just real fast. It uninstalled all those files. I'm good to go. So uninstaller. I do that all the time. Also, every now and then I'll use the updater. It will look through all the applications that are on your computer and let you know if anything has an update to it. And as you go through there, see there's a couple there. Um, extensions, it uh, says stay in control of all types of your system extensions, including widgets, plugs in, plugins, dictionaries, and other items. So if you have browser extensions, or you just have um, Mac extensions on your system, this will help you uh, manage those as well. It also has uh, another one I often use is large and old files. If you click on this, it will look for files on your computer that you had, haven't opened in a really long time, and it will show you the largest ones first, and it will give you the option of them deleting them if you need to. But to tell you the truth, most often, and what I use this probably once a week for is the smart scan. So I'm just going to show you a smart scan uh, real quick. I haven't done it in about a week, and it will then scan my system. Here, I'll just click scan first of all. And right now it's just scanning the system. It's not doing anything. It's not removing anything. It will allow you to review everything at the end before you do anything uh, permanent to your system. So right now it's just scanning. It's looking for unneeded files in the cleanup phase of the smart scan. Now it's doing the protection phase of the smart scan. But if we go back to the cleanup phase, Right now it's saying that I could save 16.76 gigabytes with this cleanup and I could click review details. To tell you the truth, I never do. I've never had an issue with it. I would suggest though, if you are new to using 
um, clean my Mac, you've never run it on your system before, definitely look at the details and make sure that it's not removing something that you absolutely positively want. So now it's doing again the protection phase. And this is a rather lengthy look. It's, you know, I'm not talking like hours. It just takes a little longer than the cleanup phase to scan your system for any malware that is on there. And it also looks for any privacy concerns as well. After it does this, it will move on to speed. It does that really quick, as you could see. And it finds there's three tasks to run to speed up my system. And then when I'm satisfied with everything, I just click run. And then when I click run, it will um, tell me I need to quit uh, your browsers. I have Google Chrome open. So I'm going to close that. Just click quit. And then it will go through. And then it's going to ask me for my system password. So type in your system password so it will allow it to make changes. And it will do that every time too. So you will have to pass, uh, you know, enter your password. So if you do have other people on your system and, you're, you know, and they run this, they don't know your system password. They won't be able to um, do this. And maybe you don't want them to do it. So um, that's that. So now it's going through and it's doing the system junk right now. As I said, that's quite a large undertaking right there. And it will go through uh, step by step. Let do its thing. Okay, it's moving pretty fast now. It's freeing up the RAM. And you can see there's a little progress circle at the bottom where it's going through these uh, steps and it's showing you how long it has to go. Of course, it has the list right here. So that helps as well. All right, it finished up and it opened my browser again for me because it closed it before. But there it is. It uh, shows me that I saved 16.76 gigabytes and unneeded junk has been removed. It's recommending I do a deep scan for malware. When it does the smart scan, it just... Uh, scans the vulnerable areas, the areas where malware usually resides. Uh, so if you run a deep scan, it will look pretty much through every file on your system. Deep scans do take a while. The more files you have, the more stuff you have on your hard drive, the longer the deep scan will take. Uh, but it didn't find any immediate thre uh, uh, threats at all. And it ran three tasks, tasks to improve my Mac's performance. So uh, there's Clean My Mac 10. It's really my favorite non photography application. And it's something that I use all the time. And you guys know that have seen my previous videos on it. I really do like it. In the description below the video, I'll have links to it. You could check it out. Also, links to Clean My PC if you have a PC. And I have a discount code available as well. You could check all of that out in the description below the video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>